So this short video is going to be about if statements. Now at the core of any programming language, at the core of any program that you write, is the ability for the program to make decisions. If statements are at the core of that ability. So I've got a basic JavaScript file here. You can see I've declared a few variables, a couple of strings, a number, and a couple of booleans, so true false values. This is the pattern for a basic if statement. And it's the same sort of pattern you'll see again and again in JavaScript. There's a keyword, a couple of parentheses, and then the curly braces. With an if statement, we put inside the parentheses here, this is where the decision parameters go. So if we wanted to do something if the variable age was equal to 45, that's how we write that. Two equal signs to compare the two values. So the computer's going to say, all right, variable age, what's inside of it? The number 45? Compare that to the actual number 45. And if that is true, then do something. Now, if you want to do something depending on whether or not it's true or false, then we can also add an extra else command on the end here. So down here we'd put whatever code we want to do something if false. And that's it. That's the basic if statement. You'll do these again and again and again as you program in JavaScript. So if and then the parentheses. Inside the parentheses we place whatever things that we want to compare. This will be what happens if it's true. This will be what happens if it's false. Now, one thing about JavaScript is that it doesn't just compare true and false. Now, it, it wants to get to an answer of true and false, but it actually has a variety of things that it considers falsy. Not just false, but falsy. These things are the keyword false, as you can see right here. This variable last is set to the value false. Null is another keyword. Null means nothing. So it's completely void. That's what the word null means. Undefined. Well, if I was to declare a variable and then not assign anything to it, this variable exists, but it's never been given anything. It doesn't have anything associated with it. It's just an empty box. So it would be considered undefined. The number 0 is also considered false. Any other number would be true. Empty strings. So here we have two strings with values inside them. If I did that or I did that, there's an opening and closing double quotes, opening and closing single quotes. These are considered to be empty strings. They are also considered to be falsy. N A N, not a number. This is something else which is considered to be falsy. So these things, if what you're evaluating is equivalent to any of these things, that would be considered falsy. Everything else is considered true. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if I was to do that, I don't have a comparison. I'm not comparing it to see if it's equal to anything like I am here. I'm just saying if the computer's going to take this and it wants to get a true or a false value for that. So it's going to come up in here and say, OK, it's false. So therefore, this thing's not going to run. If I went in here and I just said, first, it's going to evaluate this. It's going to evaluate to true. If I was to come in here and just say, age. Well, age is 45. It's a number, but it's not zero. Therefore, it's true. So these are very important things to keep in mind. False, null, undefined, zero, empty string, and not a number. These are the falsy values in JavaScript.